Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and this is part two of my Dollar Tree hauling that I've been doing with all the stuff that I've been picking up. So I made a second video, so the first one wouldn't be overly long. And yes, we're also getting into my busy time with football and everything. So I figured let's get ahead on some videos. Plus all this stuff is new, so that's exciting too. Let's get started. So I picked up these. These are the mesh laundry bag. Oh, I hate when they do that. They staple part of the mesh. Hold on. I don't want to ruin it. Mesh laundry bags. I really like the, oh, they did it on both sides. That is just rude. There we go. Okay. So what these are, just what they say. You can use these for laundry. You can put your underwear, your bras, whatever you want in them, and they are great. Now, I will also say if you are a crafter, a cross stitcher, that would make a pretty fun project bag, although things might get stuck in the mesh. Be aware. What I am using this for is for like dirty laundry. So putting, actually I probably will put clean in one, dirty in the other, uh, like underwear, socks, bras, small things like that when I pack for my trip that will stay together. So it's almost like a packing cube, but it's more for like small things. Also, you can put shoes in here and I don't, it's not going to keep the dirt, you know, from getting on the rest of your luggage, but it can keep things together. It can also hold my snacks that I'm putting in my luggage, but I have something else for that. But you can put anything you want in here for travel, for storage. I think it's great. And the zipper works fantastic. Yeah. So I grabbed a pack of those. Um, they don't last terribly long, but for me that's fine because I'm just taking this like really one trip and then I'll probably use them when I come home. But it's also great for like delicates. Now the next thing I picked up is one of these calendars. It's just a basic month at a glance, you know, school type thing. This one does start, I believe, in January, which makes it better. Yes, it does. So it's January to December, month at a glance. Here's why I purchased this. If you are a cross stitcher and you've seen the Book of Days, which is a month at a glance calendar that's much more expensive than a dollar. I would go with a Dollar Tree one, which is why I bought this, to keep track of cross stitching and crafting and things like that. Now I'm a planner girl, so I probably won't be using this. Most likely this will go in the giveaway for my Pelotonia, which I am getting ready to draw. So most likely this will go in there for that. But if you are looking at those book of days, I don't even know how much they are, but all I keep seeing is yeah, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree, or dollar twenty-five, and you put your stickers and you mark, you know, track your days. These are fantastic, and there is no reason to spend more than this. And this year they came out and they have fun covers on them. It came in teal, pink, and black. You can put stickers out here too. Now I would totally use this if I didn't need more space, which is why I do a planner because I need a week at a glance. This is just a month at a glance. But if you don't have a lot going on in your life. You can totally fill this in, add stickers wherever you want and make it look fun. And you're not spending a fortune on just the calendar. Just my, just a thought. Um, I found wooden dowels, a 10 piece. These are great to have on hand for any type of crafting. Typically I've been using the skewers, the wood skewers, but they do have a pokey end. These do not, but these are also thin. These are 12 inch long doesn't tell me the diameter, but these are pretty, pretty small, but a sturdy dowel for crafting purposes that you could totally cut these with wire cutters or um, a craft knife. So I just grab these to have on hand. No other reason than that. Um, I picked up this football sign. It says football, family football fun, whatever. I'm going to rip it apart and sand it all down and probably paint on the back and make a Buckeye sign for the Ohio State Buckeyes. But you could make it any team that you want. I just need to get all this stuff off of it. And then, yeah, paint over it. And I'm gonna make it 
for my Ohio State Buckeyes. I might even hang it this way. Who knows? I don't know, but it's a great base sign for football season. If you have a little one playing in um, Little League, that would be perfect. Okay, I don't understand what this is, so we're going to find out together. It says adhesive cutting mat. The standard grip mat is a multi-purpose mat that is perfect for a wide range of medium weight materials, including patterned paper, vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, craft. I don't know. Maybe this goes into a cutting machine? Oh, I bet you any amount of money this is for like the Cricut Joy. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, what is this? So I grabbed it. Yes. It's an adhesive mat. This is fantastic. I think this would fit the Cricut Joy. It will not fit my Cricut. So I will give it to somebody who has the Cricut Joy. But what? That is fantastic. I had no idea when I bought it. I was like, oh, that's a fun little cutting mat. No, girl, it's for Cricut. I read the dirt. I read it too. And I was like, what is this? What is this? Yeah, girl, it's for the Cricut Joy. That is awesome though that they have them at the Dollar Tree. And I do have a friend that has a Cricut Joy. So you guys just saw my, my moment. We'll just ignore that. I grabbed these for my chair for fall. My, that's my couch. It's light gray. My chair over here matches it. My boys love laying with me on that chair and they're getting black fur and claw marks and things on my chair. So I've been covering the arms like my grandma used to do. And yeah, it's been working. I mean, these are not great quality and their claws get stuck, but they're $1.25 and I don't care. I throw them away. So I thought, let's go with blue for fall because I am bringing blue into my living room. What happens is their little claws will get cut, caught in here and they will, they pull it. Again, it's not a big deal in this house because I'm not going to stop them from laying on the chair when I'm sitting there or when I'm not home because they just won't stop. And so the best thing to do is protect my furniture. I have a blanket over my chair too for the same reason. They like to get their little claws into things. And honestly, it's not even like they're scratching. It's They just walk and their claws catch, which I need to trim both of them, but that's a whole different story for another day. Okay, my store finally got these little gla oh, sorry. glass containers of beads. This is the purples and pink, and it is dark purple, medium purple, light purple, and I just think they're adorable to sit up on a shelf. I have no desire to use them for anything other than they're just cute. They came in blues and black and gray and reds. If they had gray gray, which they didn't, I would do red, black, gray for the Buckeyes, but maybe use them for something, but they don't, but I think they're adorable. So I grabbed them just to put on my little shelfy shelf. Now these are exciting and this is not, oh, this is Greenbrier. These are little kits called Craft It Up and they also had a rainbow, but these are different than the Jot ones. So this one here, it's a macrame and you learn to make this leaf, which I think is fantastic. So what comes in this box? And I did the other two kits and they are great. So I will do this kit. So you just get the pink and then you get very detailed, well, let's hope they're very detailed directions. You get directions, so that's a plus. Yeah, and it's directions on how to make it. That is great. I like it. I'm excited. I've wanted to try to make one of these flowers or leaves, really. I wish they had it in the green, but here's a fun fact. I got the um, cactus. I'll just rip everything apart, which does come with the green, but that's for this one. So this kit comes with green and white macrame cord and the directions and this one comes with the paint like how fun is that to just sit down one night and do a little craft i love these kind of crafts and these would make great christmas ornaments too if that's if that's your thing all right what do we got in here i got another bag multiple bags oh ow two bags 
Um, in the last video, I showed you some dog treats that I picked up for my brother's dog. And this is the bucket I'm putting it in. I don't think they should be right here. Let's, let's see. I found them. Okay. I love these containers. The lid pops off. I have one here for Jody. And then I'm just going to fill it with all kinds of little treats. And then I have a chew toy for her. And that's gonna be her Christmas present. And then I put a bow on it and he'll take it home and she'll have some toys and stuff. Um, That's my brother that doesn't, he's not real mobile as far as getting around, he's handicapped. So if I can send a bunch of stuff like this home for Jody, he'll take care of her for a while. I mean, he takes good care of his dog, that's not an issue, but it's always nice to have extra. And for Christmas, she's a good dog and she needs a Christmas present. However, she does eat furniture. She has some kind of anxiety problem. Um, oh, and I got her these. She liked these the last time. And these are just oven baked. Um, they're like little cu cappuccinos or puppuccinos. So that also. So the, tr the toy may end up on the outside. Who knows? But for now, yeah, the treat, the toy will end up in the bag but and then I'll get a couple more bones or something for her and actually if you are a dog fan Aldi right now has out antlers dog antler or deer antlers that they saw in half and dogs love to chew on those and they don't break off and they're not going to choke on them so I grabbed that for Jody so um I'm not trying to make anybody jealous here but I am um, well, I'm not anywhere near done with Christmas, but I'm cleaning up my mess while we talk. I have one person almost done, two persons almost done, and one person completely done. So I'm almost done with three people. My brother, the older, not the young, the brother Mike is done. Oh, he is completely done and his dog now is pretty much done. Sister-in-law is almost done. Both sister-in-laws are almost done. And I haven't started with Sarah. That's neither here nor there. Um, oh, I found some pens. Bic Gelosity. These are nice. I'm going to bring them to the office and leave them in my desk. These are nice gel pens to write with. Um, so I'm going through my list of people. Now, my... Ugh. My one brother and his wife live in Myrtle Beach or Myrtle's Inlet, and that's where we went to visit. So I need to ship their gifts at the beginning of December, which is why I'm kind of in a hurry to get, I'm not in a hurry, but I need to finish them up first so I can wrap everything and ship it at the beginning of December because I don't want it to be late. So we're going to do some fun stuff. I'll bring you along for that. Okay. I think in the last video we talked about decorating a Halloween tree. I also grabbed these little purple beads to put in the tree because I think that would be fun. Um, I've had these for ha fall and Christmas. I've never seen them for Halloween and they're just called berry picks and those will, you can just wrap them around on the tree and oh ooh, receipts. I found another monogram leaf with my initial on it. Quite frankly I would have been just as happy if it was plain but that's fine. This will go super cute in a tear tray. And if you can't find your own initial, just turn it around. It took me a while to find an S, but I grabbed it and I love these beads. I mean, this could just hang on a shelf, it, you know, sit in your tray. It can hang from a something. It may end up in my kitchen, honestly, hanging off a shelf in the kitchen. But I thought that was super fun. Um, we talked in the other video about the coffee cup. So I grabbed two. This says spice it up. I don't love this weird whatever that is. I don't know why everything has to have a bow. And this says happy pumpkin season. My thought honestly is to flip one around and paint it like Christmas colors. Make it like a Christmas coffee cup. Because I don't know. I'm sure they'll have them out. But these are paper on top of this MDF wood. So you can pick it off and then sand it down or just turn it around. That's up to you or pull everything off as best you can, sand it as best you can and paint the back a solid color, peel this off and sand it. But this is like an MDF board, I think it's called. It's pretty thick, but these are gonna look adorable in my tear tray.
thumbnail. I also found, oh, I'm excited. This is going in my bathroom on a shelf. I know that these were out last year, but my store never got them. And it's the glass. It is nice, guys. I'm not lying to you here. But look it. And it's glass. And then this looks like rusted eyeballs. It's very farmhouse Halloween, I guess. And then I got to sit next to it on a shelf, this little white pumpkin. I have a little tiny floating shelf in my bathroom and this will be perfect for Halloween. And this will be good for fall. And this is like sweater, sweater weather. And it even has a little beads hanging off that says thankful. So I, I could put them together or I could not, it doesn't matter. But this is great. And it's super heavy. It, I mean, this is definitely quality like you would see at uh, for $5 at Target Dollar Spot. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Check your bottoms. They all have this hole in it because that's how you have to fire them. But there's some rough on some of them. But I figure I'll just rub it over some sandpaper and it'll be fine or put it on something. But I love this. And I love that it lights up. I think it's fantastic. So I grabbed that for just some decor or I could even put it up here in my living room on the shelves. I'm gonna purge a lot of my old stuff and by purge, I mean donate and give away a lot of my older stuff that I don't use anymore because I seem to be buying all kinds of new. Um, also for the shelf here, I just grabbed this little stack of books again with the weird bow. We'll fix, well, it's actually painted on and then glued. It's just weird, but I'll take that off and fix it. But it's just, it's nice and narrow that will fit on one of those small little shelves up above my chair. So this one obviously says, welcome autumn. I wanted something that was just fall and not, it's just weird to me that this is painted and then the bow, like just put the ribbon and we don't need a bow. So I'll probably just glue a piece of ribbon over it that's bigger than that. Or maybe, um, we'll see, but I love it. So I grabbed that. Oh, this is a big haul. Okay. This I got for craft stuff. I have never seen one of these. It's an eight pair over the door shoe holder. But I am thinking over the door craft storage holder. Look at what you can put in here, guys. So you just need to get from the Dollar Tree one of the towel racks and you put that in there because it doesn't come with them. Look at this. Also, I will tell you, if you are planning a cruise or traveling, I would say if you're planning a cruise mostly or any type of hotel travel in small spaces with multiple people, get one of these in this size Bring your little hooks and your luggage, put it over your bathroom door. This will hold full size bottles of hairspray, shampoo, conditioner, your flip flops. It will hold extra storage, especially in a cruise ship room that are so small. And I love it that it's half the size of a regular one. That's what kind of drew me and I'm wondering if I should grab another one. Um, yes, it's not great quality. It's not gonna last forever. It may not even hold shoes for real, but it will certainly hold uh, Cricut vinyl, in here, it will hold craft supplies, it will hold glue, it will hold all kinds of stuff. And for a dollar twenty-five, thank you, Dollar Tree, I will be using that, and I will probably pick up a second one for any future trips that I might take. I don't have any tr cruise ships plan trips plan. Oh, bless you! Excuse me, Alex. Be nice. Now they're bickering over the window. Anyway, um. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. This is Brookstone. This is a name brand, like high-end name brand. And it is scissors, trimmers, and this nail file. Uh, yeah. So these scissors are going to become my new cross-stitching scissors to have when I travel in case they get confiscated. And I already opened one package and they work fine. Um, who doesn't need clippers? And this little nail file is great. Now, obviously... It's black and it was the only color they came in. Uh, stocking stuffer, guys. Brookstone is a name brand. If you see them, grab them. Any, and I'm gonna say man in your life, but quite frankly, I wanted the black scissors for me. Anybody in your life that you think would enjoy this as a stocking stuffer or whatever, or donate, 
this is a fabulous idea. People need toiletries. And I will tell you that nail clippers wear out. They get, they get um, less sharp and then you end up splitting your nails. So Brookstone for the score, guys, that is a score. I bought two sets, one that I could have the scissors and one to give away. Truth. Um, I picked up just some clear thumbtacks. Oh, okay, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Sir, sir, come here, Alex. Alex. He wants Wellington to leave the window so he can have the window bed. Come here, Alex. Where my Alex? Come here. And Wellington was asleep, and that's rude. Come on. Crazy cats. Okay, also for my trip, I picked these up for one very specific reason. Again, I'm gonna be seven hours on a plane with potentially nothing to eat. So on the sh on Amazon, I ordered, it is keto, like cup of noodles or cup soup, but it's keto, there's no noodles in it. It's just vegetables and dehydrated meat and you add hot water and you can make yourself a little soup, which I thought would be a fantastic idea, especially, you know, on a seven hour flight, I'm gonna be hungry. So some soup and some crackers or whatever. So what I thought I would do is put the packet in here I can ha add the hot water to this. There's measurements on the side and then I can put the lid on and let it rehydrate. And then I can have dinner on the plane in my hotel room. Um, you know, it's not always easy finding food for myself and it's not really a huge priority to run out to a restaurant. If I'm at home or if I'm in my hotel and I'm ready for bed and I just need a little snack, this will be perfect. So I will throw again, some soup in one in the packet with a lid in my suitcase for the trip back and one in my carry-on. And honestly, I could wash it out or just toss it. Excuse me, boys, that's not being nice. Alex. Okay, I settled them down. And by that, I mean I grabbed him and put him out of the window and gave him a toy and now he's sort of happy. Guys, look what I got for them. It's the Hocus Pocus. So Winifred, Sarah, and Mary, and they have catnip in them. Luna Dog loves them too, but I don't want her to tear them up. I know. Here, Alex. He loves them. Okay, one more trip-related item. I picked up this. Now, this is a 